Hello everyone, if you are already following my videos then you must have seen this one. I was not sure what your response would be but you guys surprised me with positive feedback and your practice work said on Instagram and Facebook. I received a lot of comments asking for more beginner friendly video exactly like this. So here I am making one. Before proceeding further I strongly suggest you to watch this video first then come back here for sequel. Second video could answer to your questions from the first part. Create new document with following details. Or you can work with any resolution you want. But if you are making for Instagram then make sure you are working on recommended aspect ratio. If questions pop up, watch the video till the end and then ask me your questions in comments along with timestamp in minutes and second format. This is a rough idea what I want to make. You could skip this paper sketch part but I recommend you not to because without initiating an idea you could end up with a blank artboard for a long time. Since you are just stepping into illustration, keep all the shapes very simple. Take real landscape photographs for reference. Make note of what time you want to set, night or day, grass or snow, etc. And that's it. Once you settle with that, forget it for a while. Don't think about color schemes and all, because we will start with grayscale anyway. You can choose from various illustration style already out there or you can invent one by yourself. I chose this to get you started. In my workflow, I start with only two panels open on screen. Layers and floating color panel with RGB mode. RGB mode lets us use hex value. Then I enable all the other panels one by one as I need them. I will use ellipses for all these items and rectangles for trunk and house. Hold space bar to move object while drawing it. I'm filling grays just to put them into right layer order. Don't think about different sets, you can fill them random. To change layer order of any object, select them, right click, arrange, choose one of these. You are going to execute this command a lot, so memorize the keyboard shortcuts. Now you are wondering why ellipse is not visible outside the artboard automatically. How this magic happened? Well, Illustrator has trim view feature in CC 2019 and later versions. It lets us hide things outside the artboard, but problem is, it's not actually masking the artboard which results in image with unwanted extra part. So I found the easiest solution explained in this video. Link is in the description below. Please watch it after finishing current one.
to make this roof shape create rectangle take direct selection tool and move this path segment while holding shift key another rectangle strap with the same method direct selection tool is so useful for moving points and segments around Now make pathways with pen tool. Make sure it follows hill shape. This end should be like this and not like this. On curved objects, cross contour lines bend the most near the curved edges, which adds form to the object. It's color time. To build a color scheme, see various real photographs and collect right colors to match the mood. Or you can search Adobe Color or similar sites to explore schemes made by people around the globe. Here I have 5 sets of green, 2 browns and 3 for sun setting sky. Now the burning question popping up in comments every day. What are these and how to get them? These are just regular rectangle shapes filled with solid colors. And these are the color code in RGB hex format which can be found here in color panel or here in floating color panel with RGB mode. I have also added them into swatches, so it would be easy to pick without switching to eyedropper tool back and forth. Speaking of that, do you know eyedropper can do lot more than you think? Watch this video to find out, link is in the description below. First I'll color the sky and sun to begin with light source. I am making a gradient with these three colors. Drag and drop these color swatches over gradient stops. filling solid white instead of yellow for the sun. It goes in blur about 20 pixels. To make the sky little dramatic, create an ellipse like this. Fill with dark saturated orange. It's okay to use other sets than this scheme, you are not chained with them. Apply Gaussian Blur.
add a gradient to the leg. Now create a larger ellipse keeping the sun in the center. Fill with radial gradient opaque yellow to transparent yellow. Adjust gradient radius to fit the shape. Keep it a little inside. Let's color the hills. I'm hiding pathways for now. Here you can use the new freeform gradient or the mesh tool. But most of my viewers are using older version and for sake of simplicity I'm using our classic radial gradient tool. While dragging the end point Hold ALT key to adjust radius and the rotation same time. Option key for Mac. Make sure gradient radius matches the hill shape. Choose these two greens as dark and light. Adjust the color stops to make it look like edge is little brighter due to sunlight and dark at the bottom. Press G to activate the gradient tool. I'll use the same gradient for all the other hills. Use eyedropper tool to pick gradient and adjust the radius. After this green gradient I'll use two more things to add depth. For trees, I am moving the gradient zone a little towards left and down. This will create rim light. Same thing with other two. Make sure these parts are dark enough as they are not getting direct light.
एडजस्ट ग्रेडियंट अकॉर्डिंग For trunks, use these two browns as gradient. To emphasize these hill edges, I'll add inner glow with this color. But as you go further, increase blur and change opacity to make it softer. There is a light, so let there be shadows. Here in appearance panel, click on the button named add fill. You can add multiple layers of fill and strokes using these two buttons. Select gradient fill, choose linear type. If you can't see multiple fills even after adding a fill layer, press A to switch to direct selection tool to make them visible for editing. dark brown gradient for the roof.
add a little curve as it is forming on the hill. Now add light and shadow on the pathways which will add to beauty of the scene. Here I will break down each step so you can understand. Assuming you have already seen text effect called bevel and emboss, I am going to do the same here. Light is coming from this direction so this edge should be dark. Select that segment, go to stroke panel, increase width to 16 point, change color to darker green or black, it's your choice and apply this width profile. Then add Gaussian blur about 16 pixels. Let it little be on the pathway. You can either draw individual strokes or just copy from the existing shape. It's up to you. As they go further, decrease stroke width and blur value. Do the same process for bright edges, but use white instead of dark colors.
Add opaque black to transparent black linear gradient. Adjust overall opacity according. Now it's time to open your app and start the work. If you face any problems during practicing this tutorial, please describe the problem in detail along with timestamp. That's it. If you enjoyed the process, please give a like as a token of appreciation. Please subscribe to stay connected with me. Thanks for watching.